to begin the second report page i will simply come to my template um report page here and i'm going to right click on that page and duplicate the page and this page is going to be our locations report so locations report it is and i'm going to change the title here to sales and transaction reports by location so i'll just highlight the period and i'm going to type location over it then because it has spilled into the next uh, line that's why you have this scrolling bar on my text box i simply need to expand my text box a little bit to ensure everything is on the same line now if i go back to my periodic reports page what i want to pick from here are these slicers because based on my design and my requirement i need to have exactly the same type of slicers that i have here i need to have it on my locations report too but one decision i need to make is that do i want the slicers to be synced together in the sense that if i'm currently or if a user is currently on the periodic report page and probably they change the region from central to east for example since i'm going to be having exactly the same types of slicers on the locations report do i want the slicer on the locations report to also automatically carry east as well that's what i mean by syncing the slicer so i need to make that decision so i'm going to show you two ways for you to uh reuse slicers and also sync slicers the first method is really simple and straightforward the second method is also simple as well but this first method is something that you want to use when you don't have several pages of reports that you want to replicate the slicers for like in this case i only have one page of report that i want to replicate the slicers for so i'm only going to use a simple copy and paste for it all i will have to do is select the slicer select the first one hold control and select the second one hold control and select the third one so with the three of them selected i'm going to press ctrl c to copy them then i'll go to my locations report when i get to my locations report i need to first click on the canvas just once to make sure that i'm ready to do or to carry out an action on the reporting canvas then i'm going to press ctrl v on my keyboard and then i will basically see this pop-up dialog box that is asking if i want to sync the slicers now in this case i will go with syncing so i'm going to select sync and that's it so the other option is something that you use when you have several report pages that you want to sync slicers across at once so i'm just going to use that second method now to try to add the slicers on this page i'm going to try to add them to the temp page just for demonstration purposes so how to do that is this if i go back to my periodic page uh, i'm going to go to my view tab by default you have seen that we have field spin visualization spin and filter spin but from the view tab you are going to see that there are several other pins that we have and we can use them on request right now we want to use um the sync slicers uh pane so i'm just going to enable the sync slicers pane when the sync slicers pane is enabled i have this panel that says select a slicer in one of your report pages to start syncing it across other pages so i'm going to select the yes slicer first and i'm going to see that that slicer is currently being used on these two pages so if i want the slicer to appear on the temp page I'm going to come to the section that has the eye here and I'm going to tick that section. When I tick the section like this, if I untick the second part, which is the syncing part, what will happen is if I go to the temp page, I'm going to see the year slicer there. If I change it to 2014 here, that doesn't mean it has changed to 2014 here. It's still 2015 here. That's because i only visualize it on the other page i did not synchronize it for me to synchronize it on the other page i have to also make sure i tick the synchronization checkbox that is here so now when i go to the temp page you see that it's already 2015 and if i change from this 2015 to 2017 by the time i go back to all my other pages you will see that they are also 2017 as well why because i have synced the slicers